Hi, and welcome to Washington Wine Girl. Um, today is going to be an odd day. Oh yeah, we're still in quarantine and things are getting weird. Um, how weird? Well, so I have this wine that I acquired in when my ex and I broke up. Um, if you could see that, oh, let's see if I can get it closer. That's a 1990 Ravenswood Zinfandel. All my research and stuff that I've done, which is basically looking at an app and a web page, said this wine should have been drank by 2002. Um, if you're not sure what year it is, it's now 2020. So this is an eight, at least an 18 year out of date wine. So this is either going to be awesome or horribly bad. So I'm gonna open it up and um, see. Um, I'm not gonna open it on like camera, just in case you know things include, although that would be great for like people watching. Um, but um, uh, I'll, I'll be back with the bottle open and we'll go from there. Okay, well, there's been a problem. So, um, so one thing about old bottles of wine is their corks are very delicate and um, they require certain tools um, to get the corks out. There's like a, a, a corkscrew that's got two um, tines that you, it's, it's a, it's a, I, I'll find the name and post it in the link. Um, anyway, so the cork is now in the wine. Um, I didn't want that to happen, obviously, but all I have is just a giant corkscrew and, well, like I said, old cork. So I got a measuring bowl and um, I'm basically going to pour the wine into the measuring bowl through a filter and um, and hope for the best. So uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. Here's the setup. Um, obviously the what the bolt the measuring bowl is down here so uh, I'll be back okay and we're back um, I have to say this is not the best smelling wine I've ever smelled before this is the inside of the filter obviously uh, it's a bit uh, sediment ish um, there's also these uh, I don't know if you can see that on the bottle uh, there that's all just sediment and um, stuff. <sighs> oh gosh. I don't, I hope this is safe to drink. Well, if we're gonna find out. If anything, I've got a glass of water here and I can just spit it out as necessary. But, um, but yeah, I'm gonna rinse out this filter and then pour, get it, get some into my glass. So be back. Okay, I have some in a glass, um, but I think that's that may be as far as this is going to go. The color is um, is just, let's just say you can't see through it. The smell is just... It just smells like an old church in tennis shoes. Like... It smells like, like rubber or something. I don't know. Like plastic. Oh. oh, okay. It the it it it's not it's not the best smelling wine I've ever smelled before. How bad can it be, right? It's not gonna kill me. It's just grapes. No. I... Oh, that aroma is just foul. All right, one more little try. I... Yeah, I think this is just gonna find its way through the Seattle sewer system. Sorry, Zinfandel, you should have been had 
about 18 years ago. And um, thankfully, I've got some backup wine. Like, literally, back there. <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll do a video for one of those. Because um, this one is... Um, this one's about done. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Um, um, I will get you... I'll put the link to that fancy old... If you, ha if, if you happen to have old, old wine in your house, um, it's better to use one of these like I said, fancy openers to get them open because the corks are, are delicate. Um, so yeah, I'll link that in my video. Oh, I shouldn't do that while I'm on camera. <laughs> anyway, it's quarantine and I forget that I'm doing things at times. Anyway, bye. Happy quarantine. <laughs>